I feel great. I, I feel good. You know, I'm glad it's over with. I was a little nervous in the beginning, but uh, you know, I feel good. Were you surprised by his uh, willingness to trade with you? Yeah, I was. I thought, you know, I'd hit him a few times. He'd try to back, shy up and back down, but no, he was in it for the fight, and he fought hard, and he's the one who made it. You know, so that much of a good fight. So, uh, talk us through the finish. Which strike uh, really hurt him? I think the uppercut. I think the uppercut hurt him. Um, I couldn't really get any solid straights or anything. I was a little sloppy. It's been a while. I think I got a little too excited to try to end it too fast. But, uh, you know, I just got to tighten it up and relax a little bit and get back after it. So, how much does it mean to you if you win in front of a hometown crowd? It, it feels good, you know. I got a lot of people that support me here and, you know, they're, they're always out here. They're always out here and, you know, I love them for it. And, yeah, and it's good to be on the strike force, you know, fighting with the best, the best heavyweights and fighters, and you know, I'm blessed, thankful. What's next for you? Next for me is um, I want to get on the big show, the main show, and I want to go chase down, hunt down some of them big name guys, and you know, see if I have it, what it takes or not. Is there a big name guy you want to call out? There's a couple of them. Like I said, uh, I think I match up well with uh, Brett Rogers, uh, Andre Olaski. Uh, I'll fight. I'll fight anybody. I'll, I'll fight whoever they have. Fedor, whatever. Try to work my way up to the to, to the band with the belt. That's what we're all here for. And you know, I'm not I'm not afraid of an asshole.